Hey guys, this is Spencer from Pixel and Bracket. On uh, on YouTube, one of my hottest videos, I guess if you if you will, is about how to resize photos and images without losing quality, and I show you how to use smart objects to do that. Well, I got a question on that uh, on that tutorial about how to copy an image from basically one Photoshop document or having that image open to another. Uh, document so specifically a letter sized document so how do I how do I copy this open photo to this letter document yeah it's as easy as copy and paste but there's a couple things that I would consider depending on the scenario and what all you need to do with the photo so yes you can go up to select all or command a to do that and then you can copy it with edit copy or command C then we can go over to the letter sized document and go to edit paste and that's also command V so command C command V to copy paste that pastes it in here and my photo is a higher quality image so it's actually a qu quite a bit larger than the uh, the document size so at this point before I make any changes to it I want to right click on that layer and convert to smart object that's gonna let Photoshop remember the full size of that photo so that whenever I skew it, scale it down, cut into it, make adjustments, apply effects even, it will remember all of those things and will retain the quality of the photo no matter what I do. Now there is a limit to it. I can't scale it up past 100% of its size or else it's going to pixelate a little bit. Photoshop does a pretty good job, but um, anyway, that's getting into that tutorial some and I'll post that up, you know, maybe there's a card that will pop up up in the top there. but that's one way copy paste the other way is that you can right click on that layer and you can say duplicate layer and it pops up a dialog box and asks you also where do you want to duplicate it what's the destination I can say go to that letter size document and I can hit OK and over here we've got another copy of it and that works in the same way and once again don't forget to make that a smart object so let's go into one last scenario and let's say that you actually have a few effects you know you've you've applied a contrast to this you've adjusted the hue and saturation to it and made some something way greener and maybe way less saturated or something so you have some things applied here and you don't just want to copy that layer you need like everything you certainly could copy all of that but to save a step because I want to convert that to a smart object later to save a step I can actually save this file so go to file save as and then I can save it oh where are we at this recording we're gonna save this as um, 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 forest okay forest.psd so this is a Photoshop file I'm saving save it there and then I go to my letter size document and go to file place embedded and I can actually place that forest PSD into my letter PSD and it places it in, scales it down to the, to the exact width, like it keeps it within the dimensions of the letter, and I can hit enter to like commit that placement. And what happens is it already created a smart object. So if I double click on this, I'm gonna go over here first and close this forest layer. Okay, so I only have this letter size document open. This is what smart objects do. If I double click on this forest thumbnail, it's gonna take me into that Photoshop document it actually opens it up look now we have two tabs again and I can make my changes here so I can get rid of those again and hit save on that and I could even exit back out of that forest document and you'll notice that it actually updates over here it may have been hard to see so let's make something that's more obvious I double click in there I'm gonna use the brush tool and I'm going to uh, create a new layer here that I can paint on we're gonna paint over the top of it I'm gonna hit command s to save really quick exit out of that and boom it updates in my other document so that's really nice and I can scale this guy up and down without losing quality you can see up here that actually I'm at 15 percent the total width and height that I could possibly be at with this photo so that means there's a lot of room to scale this photo up anyway guys that was just a couple of ways that you can take a photo from one document and put it into another Photoshop document I really do like embedding PSDs into um, into PSDs, right? It's like this, um, you know, uh, what do you call it? What's that movie that came out? Um, 
inception or something or like you're nesting all these uh, Photoshop documents into each other that allow you to clean up your layers over here, keep them pretty tidy, but also give you a lot of flexibility and retain all of the quality of your images. Anyway, if you guys have any questions, leave them uh, in the comment section below. If you like this video and learned something new today, make sure you, well, make sure you like this video. Anyway, uh, also subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.